Today I'm going to show you a project that we did on this 35 square meter condo unit which we have made a huge transformation on, turning it into a spacious studio with a loft bedroom. So about a year ago, we did a deep clean and restyling of this room after we decided to have it rented out. And I remember that we have limited budget during that time to do a transformation. So we had to be really resourceful and make use of every single pesto that we got to put into good use. And considering practicality and design, we had to incorporate it all together to make it work for our budget. So as you can tell right now, it kind of became a bit of a dumping zone again. Everything looks dated and so now I want to take on all the things that I miss and really take the room in a completely different direction, like literally. Alright, so stage one of the planning process, I would like to start with a completely clean slate. We had to dismantle everything, the cabinets, drawers, bed frames, and put them all aside in one corner of the room so we could work first on the other side. And yep, that's how we did it. Uso guso lang ng mga gamit sa condo kasi maliit lang yung space. Stage 2 is the construction of the loft bedroom. The reason why we opted for this is obviously to maximize the floor space of this unit and also to create privacy for the sleeping area. So here is your very first look of the loft. Stage 3 and we started painting the walls. But the problem I'm having is I don't think I love the brown beige color. And I only realized this when they already painted like almost half of the room and that's when I thought that it's not the color for me. So I have to have it repainted into a different color and we picked warm gray and you'll see that in the later part of the video. We also made use of the existing bed frames we have for the couch slash day bed that we decided to put under the loft. We repainted it to make it look new and upgraded and it's actually made of hardwood so it's pretty sturdy and nice looking loft update look at that everything at this top part is almost finished lights were already installed i just need to kind of smooth in the loft flooring with some vinyl tiles probably and i'm gonna show you that in a bit it's still super messy i know it's i still haven't changed the wall paint as well as you can see because this is not a color that i'm kind of going for but i'm looking forward to decorating and staging it once we're done with all this mess and throw away the things that we don't need The reality of DIYs, I thought I was going to get away with this area being pretty quick because I had somebody else paint it, but here I am repainting it. And I think I did two coats in this ledge. And I'm just going to work on the rest of this outline towards the end. we're down to our final touches so right now we're dressing the foam mattress that we're going to put on the day bed couch it is already covered in like a leather mattress protector but we still wanted to add another layer of cover to have that cozy feel when you're sitting down or laying on it we had this outer layer of foam cover customized to the actual size that we have and I'm just so happy how it fits so well. I also like the fact that I could just change this anytime if it gets dirty. It's easy to just throw it in the washer plus the added protection of the leather cover underneath it will preserve the foam as it prevents any fluid or moist to get absorbed. I will try to look for the supplier where I ordered it from and just link it down below. I found these vinyl tiles from Shopee. I think it looks nice and suitable for this loft. It's easy to clean, just wipe it 
with dry or wet cloth and you're good. I'm just using a paper cutter to frame the corners that I needed to cut so it would fit perfectly to its spot. This type of vinyl tiles that I ordered is not the peel and stick type so I had to use a carpet tape as an adhesive to put it into place. So far it's good and I actually prefer this because it's much easier to install and you don't get to have all that mess with the liquid one. We specifically chose to have stairs for our loft instead of a ladder because for me it's just much easier to climb it and I know there's still a lot of stuff that I needed to add in this room makeover like wall paintings or portraits but for now I'm just going to show you the outcome of what we have made so far and so I hope you like it. I'm feeling something special for you now you got me thinking till the sun comes up Daylight in my mind is dreaming And I'm saying too much couldn't be enough But I'll be waiting Waiting for the moment to take me to you Just a couple steps from going over the moon I wanna move with your body, baby I wanna move with your body, baby I wanna move with your body, baby Let me move with your body
Let me know what your favorite part of this video was and if you have suggestions and what to add and whatnot, you may comment it down below. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and see you in my next makeover.